Hey YouTube, it's Matches860, and we're doing a review today of the Leatherman Wave, the original Leatherman Wave multi-tool, uh, at the request of Cheeserific1, and we're happy to show them the wave today. Uh, as you can see, got the wave right here and I remember when this came out what was so unique about it were the implements that were located in the handle so that unlike most other multi tools at the time you didn't have to open anything up um, in order to access everything what Leatherman did was they put your serrated blade uh, so that it's accessible from the tool while it's closed. A very handy um, file which on one side is a very fine diamond coat and the other side is a much uh, coarser metal file and once you use the file on this um, you'll be thinking of all sorts of uses for it really comes in handy um, the other side you've got a regular straight edge blade and over here a saw and from personal experience, I can tell you, this will nicely cut down a small branch, let's say uh, up to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and it'll go right through it. Very little effort. And all, all the four of these implements uh, in the outside handles have kind of a liner lock on them right here. So you press that, it unlocks, and you can put it back. And I would caution a user that when you're using any of the implements, be careful where your thumb is, because uh, if you're putting a lot of pressure in the wrong place, especially where that liner lock is, this will fold right up on you and you can end up with a nasty cut and you don't want that. When we open up the tool, um, pliers as they all have, the wire cutters, um, very coarse teeth inside the pliers as well as some finer ones towards the needle nose. And a number of implements are located inside the handles uh, once you open up the tool. A uh, bottle opener, a Phillips screwdriver, and a regular. And over here, nice pair of scissors, uh, another regular screwdriver an even smaller, uh, um, this is actually almost like a chisel, this one here, and then a very, very thin screwdriver, almost like a, for repairing glasses. And somewhere on one side, maybe I missed it over here, yeah, there is a lanyard uh, attachment and uh, I did use that one time when I was work doing some roof work I was four stories up and I uh, decided I didn't want to drop the tool off the roof by accident so uh, I attached a little cord to there and hooked it to my belt just in case I happened to let go of the tool uh, let's see what else can I tell you about this 
like many multi-tools, when you first get it, it's really kind of tough to open it up. But as you can see with this, I'm not really um, using all that much pressure. Of course, this saw, uh, you know, a couple of years worth of action at work, so uh, it's very well freed up. Now, the original Wave uh, was redesigned in 2004, and just for comparison purposes, we'll put this down a minute. Um, I do have the redesigned Wave, and a couple of things that they did with this. Let me uh, put these side by side for you. You can see that the uh, needle nose are a bit heftier on the new design. And that translates to heftier implements that are located uh, in the handle. And see if we can compare one of them and they're all equally about um, the same difference you can see that the blade on the redesigned came out bigger because you've got the bigger pliers in here um, so it is a heftier tool it only added about a half an ounce this is eight ounces the redesigned is eight and a half And about the only feature that I didn't like with the redesigned, I'm going to show it quick, was um, this bit which uh, pulls out of a, a holder. And you can go with either a regular or a Phillips screwdriver. Um, but there's a spring in here that tends to loosen up and even pop out. That's uh, right there. Uh, so this was kind of chintzy in my opinion. The rest of the tool I didn't have a problem with. Uh, they did make uh, better locking on the uh, inner implements uh, and you they have a push button here. I'll jump back to the original wave which on the inner implements, um, if you deploy one of these things, it will snap into place. Uh, but there's not a real lock here. It's just a nick in the implement that uh, hits a kind of a metal spring type thing. It very easily goes back into place. So. I really um, would recommend, especially to a collector, to get one of these. I'm sure they're floating around all over the place. Um, it is a retired uh, model from Leatherman. Um, for anyone who's in trades or maybe construction work, uh, there are heftier tools that you would want to be looking at. Uh, the core, the surge, although the core has been retired too. Uh, the Super Tool 300. Um, they have just a little bit more bulk to them. But, you know, this is a great tool. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks an awful lot for watching.